Hi guys, welcome back to Kelvin's Kitchen. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. On today's episode, we're making Baba Ganoush. Baba Ganoush is not only a fun word to say, but this is a very delicious, eggplant spread. And on this episode, you're going to learn on how to tell if an eggplant is male or female. Why does it matter? Stay tuned. Baba Ganoush, coming up. To make this recipe, we are using 4 eggplants. Try to get all male eggplants as female eggplants have more seeds. And if your baba ganoush has too many seeds, it can get somewhat bitter. Now you are wondering how can I tell the gender of an eggplant, right? Stay tuned and we will go over it at some point throughout the video. We're going to prick the eggplants with the tip of a fork. They say if you don't do that, your eggplants would explode. And who needs that? Do this a few times all around them. And this is going to help the eggplants release a lot of the moisture. Now, on a baking tray, we are lining it with aluminum foil because we want an easy cleanup. Who wants messy cleanup? I know I don't. Set a rack over the tray and we're going to roast these eggplants for about one hour. The rack is going to help the eggplants roast evenly. Set the eggplants in the center of your 450 degree oven and roast for one hour. 30 minutes into the roasting process, let's go ahead and check on them. Make sure that they're okay, show them some love, rotate them, and we'll keep roasting for another 30 minutes. Now, how can I tell the eggplant's gender? Male eggplants have a dot indentation at the bottom, and female have a slot. In other words, when getting your eggplants, look for the dots and avoid the slots. These guys have been roasting for one hour now and they are done. They are nice and soft. That's exactly what we want. At this point, let's get them out of the oven and move on to the next step. Let them cool off for a few minutes because they're extremely hot. Once they have cooled off, go ahead and peel the skin. And here's one of our female eggplants and you can tell by how much seeds it has. It is full of seeds. I'm going to remove some of them so the baba ganoush does not come out bitter. Now that all the eggplants have been peeled and some of the seeds taken out, you may discard the skin as we're not going to use it for anything. In a mixing bowl, we are seasoning with three cloves of garlic, minced. 2 teaspoons of kosher salt or to taste. And if you like your baba ganoush with some texture to it, go ahead and mash it with a potato masher. Mash away. After mashing for a couple of minutes and getting it to the consistency that we want, let's go ahead and squeeze two fresh lemon juice. 
three tablespoons of tahini or to taste, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Let's give that a whisk and combine all the ingredients together. It is time for the secret ingredient, two tablespoons of yogurt. And we whisk it some more. Now, the baba ganoush is going into the fridge for several hours as the flavors have not developed yet. And eight hours later, after all the flavors have developed, we're going to taste and see if it is to our liking. At this point, we can adjust salt, pepper, or anything else that we like. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, it tastes really good. Still needs some Italian parsley, and the texture is a little bit too thick. So we're going to fix that right now. At this point, you can just serve it and eat it like that, but it is too thick and I like it really nice and smooth. Add in two tablespoons of Italian parsley, chopped, and we are blending for about a minute or so. Let's see what we got here, and it looks good. It is what I was expecting, and let's give it a taste, second time. Mm. Now it is perfect, instant baba ganoush success. And as is custom, we're going to finish it up with a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of parsley, And that is it. Our baba ganoush is ready to be enjoyed. And I'm going to serve mine with some pita chips. This is so tasty, so savory, so delicious, and yet very, very light. A very simple, very delicious eggplant spread. Plus now you can tell the difference between a male and a female eggplant. And there you guys have it. Baba Ganoush. Enjoy! If you guys enjoyed this recipe, please consider subscribing, leave me some comments down below, give it a thumbs up, and do not forget to press that bell button so you don't miss any upcoming recipes. Bye! Thanks for watching!